Kesarbay Kirker, the 13th of July 1892 to the 16th of September 1977, was an Indian classical vocalist of the Jaipur Atrauli Gharana. A protege of Ostad Alidia Khan (1855–1946), the founder of the Gharana, from age 16, she went on to become one of the most noted kale singers of the second half of the 20th century. She was awarded the Sangeet Natak Akademi Award in 1953, followed by Padma Bhushan as the third highest civilian award in India in 1969. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> Early life and training Born in the tiny village of Kerry also spelled Quirum", in a family from Ponda Toluca of North Goa, Goa then a Portuguese colony, at the age of eight Kirker moved to Kolhapur, where she studied for eight months with Abdul Karim Khan. Upon her return to Goa, she studied with the vocalist Ramkrishnabua Vaz (1871–1945). During his visits to Lamgaon, meanwhile, Mumbai, then Bombay, under British Raj, was fast developing as a business and trade centre of the country. Several musicians and singers from North India and Central India, facing declining patronage from princely states, started migrating to the city. At the age of 16, she too moved to Mumbai with her mother and uncle. A wealthy local businessman Seth Vithaldas Dwarkadas helped her study under with Barkat Ullah Khan, sitar player and court musician at Patiala State. He taught her intermittently for two years, during his visit to the city. However, when Khan, became court musician at Mysore State, she trained under Bhaskarbua Bakel (1869–1922) and Ramkrishnabua Vais for short periods, eventually ending up as disciple to Ostad Alidia Khan (1855–1946), the founder of the Jaipur Atrauli Gharana, beginning in 1921, and trained rigorously under him for following 11 years. Though she started singing professionally in 1930, she continued learning from Khan, despite his failing health, till his death in 1946. Topic career Kirker eventually achieved wide renown, performing regularly for aristocratic audiences. She was very particular about the representation of her work and consequently made only a few 78 revolutions per minute recordings, for the HMV and broadcast labels. In time, Kirker became an accomplished kale singer of her generation, and seldom sang light classical music, often associated with female vocalists. Her success as a public singer, along with that of Mogubai Kurdikar, mother of Kishoria Munkar, Hirabai Barodekar, and Gangubai Hangal, paved way for next generation of female vocalists, away from singing mehfils or private gathering that women of previous generation had to settle for. Kirker was awarded the 1953 Sangeet Natak Akademi Award, given by the Sangeet Natak Akademi, India's National Academy of Music, Dance and Drama, as the highest Indian recognition given to practicing artists. This was followed followed by the decoration of Padma Bhushan by the Government of India in 1969, and in the same year the Government of the Indian State of Maharashtra conferred upon her the title of Raja Gayaka, Indian Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore is said to have been very fond of Kirkar singing. Her honorific title Sarashri or Sir Shri literally means excellent voice Sir meaning voice and Shri meaning excellent, and was bestowed on her in 1948 by the Sangeet Praveen Sangeetanaragi Sajan Saman Samiti of Calcutta. She retired from public singing in 1963-64. In her ancestral village of Kerry, the Sarashri Kesarbai Kirkar High School now occupies the site of Kirkar's former second home, and the house where she was born still stands, less than one kilometre away. A music festival called the Sarashri Kesarbai Kirkar Smriti Sangeet Samaroa is held in Goa each November, by Kala Academy, Goa, and a music scholarship in her name is awarded annually to a University of Mumbai student by National Centre for the Performing Arts via Kesarbai Kirkar Scholarship Fund. Unlike, her guru, Kirkar was not fond of teaching, and thus taught only one disciple, Dandutai Kulkarni, who has previously learned from Ut. Burji Khan, the son of Alidia Khan and Ut. Azizuddin Khan, grandson of Alidia Khan, Kirkar has the further distinction of having one of her recordings, Jat Kahan Ho, duration 330, an interpretation of Raga Bhairavi, included on the Voyager Golden Record, a gold-plated copper disc containing music selections from around the world, which was sent into space aboard the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft in 1977. 
The recording was recommended for inclusion on the Voyager disc by the ethnomusicologist Robert E. Brown, who believed it to be the finest recorded example of Indian classical music. Since 2000, several CDs of her archival recordings have been released, including one on the Golden Milestone series, which contains several of her most famous songs. Recordings Classical Vocal CD from Sangeet Natak Akademi Golden Milestones 2003. Vintage 78 RPM recording on CD Living Music of the Past CD from Underscore Records site Bathic Series, live concert recordings A set of four CDs published by Sangeet Kendra <laughs>